hit him with something extra cold. M. M. G. G. Hey YouTube, what's up? Leo Pazzo, you know what it is, that's the channel. Today's episode is going to be of a 120 gallon coral reef tank that uh, needs to be moved from a client of mine from one end of the city to the next approximately a good hour and a half drive away on the high highway so uh, today's episode is going to be the dismantle of this tank tear down of the tank and uh, in episode number two you'll see the tank uh, being delivered and set up so uh, stick with me this is uh, again 120 gallon tank 48 inches by 24 inches by 24 inches here's a uh, three chamber sump we got a skimmer refugium with some chato return pump we got a reactor and uh, for the most part that's pretty much it a couple of power heads inside the tank for circulation and uh, let's get started on this teardown so here we are uh, we already uh, emptied about uh, half the water out of the tank we're starting to clear out any of the live rock that doesn't have any corals mounted onto it so we're just uh, pouring out some of the water siphoning out some of the water into these containers that we have here and starting to take out some of these live rocks and corals uh, have a look here at the size of this toadstool here it's at least a good uh, 16 inches here at the top of the head so we're just going to place that in the bucket there barely even fits but uh, for the most part it should be okay it's going to be basically a short move like I said about an hour and a half drive yeah I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about uh, regarding the maintenance schedule that uh, my client had here for this 120 gallon tank he actually uh, did not dose any chemicals whatsoever he basically did uh, a week water change weekly every uh, week he changed about approximately 10 gallons of water RO water mixed with salt and then uh, on the third week he changed about 50 gallons of water that was his routine so again every week 10 gallons of water change and then every third week would be 50 gallons of water change. Okay, so let's get started on the dismantle of the sump. Again, this is a three chamber sump. Uh, first chamber is where the drain is from the main display tank along with the skimmer. The second chamber is the refugium with an LED light with the uh, GFO reactor. And the uh, final stage of the sump is the return pump which also holds uh, uh, two heaters to heat the tank. Okay, now for the most part that we got the sump all disassembled and taken apart, uh, the return pumps ready to take out just with a couple of unions there with the valve. Uh, we're pretty much uh, ready to take out these fish, place them into the buckets and ready for transportation. So uh, let's get started on taking out the few fish here that they have left. And if you noticed, um, I left the fish into the tank uh, as long as possible. Um, there's no need to take them out earlier. Uh, you can just leave them into the tank at last minute, take them out when you're all pretty much uh, ready to make the move. 
So you can see here I just pulled out a blue tank, placing it into the bucket and um, I'm going to do the same with the rest of the fish here. And Once that's all done, I'm going to drain out the rest of the water and uh, take out some of the sand here on the sand bed. as you can see we're moving quite along the sump is ready to take out the stand is completely empty besides the live sand that's sitting at the bottom of the tank we're going to remove that shortly other than that it is all ready to go the sump should just slide out return pumps already out skimmer everything another suggestion is uh, the buckets that you keep the fish in put a piece of live rock in there or two so they can hide behind and uh, feel more like at home Alright, let's take a quick peek at the drain and plumbing work of the tank. There's the inch and a half drain going right into the sump. The right and the left are the return from the pump. This is the overflow box of the drain, bulkhead straight down. So next, let's start taking out some of this live sand from the bottom of the tank here to make it uh, lighter. There's approximately at least a good uh, 75 to 100 pounds there of uh, live sand. So it'll definitely make the tank lighter for uh, easy transportation. So there you go, this is where the tank was, it's all into the delivery chuck right now, tank, stand and sump. These plastic tarps again guys is a great idea to have uh, in the area if you're going to be doing this. Here's a container of all the equipment and the light fixture. Oh, Subscribe yet? Anyways, let's have a look inside the truck. Here's the sump, here's the stand, there you can see the tank. There's a bunch of uh, barrels, containers, buckets of all the live rock, water, fish, and coral. Here's the uh, canopy, which you guys did not see earlier. There's the uh, box of equipment, excess uh, equipment that needs to be all set up. You got your light in there, your skimmer inside the stand. Everything's nice and secure and uh, ready for delivery. All right, guys, well, that's part one of the 120 gallon coral reef tank. Uh, we're just in the process of moving it over, so stay tuned, and uh, you'll see the setup of the tank there uh, where I'm going to deliver it. Just wanted to say thank you very much again for all the new subscribers. Leo Pozzo, that's the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please like, share, comment. Feel free uh, to let me know what you guys think. Write a comment below, and like it, dislike it. Let me know what time it is, guys. Let me know what's up. Thank you very much. Leo Pozzo, you know what it is.